that recently the video was questioned about his relationship with Choma during his visit to Oba and Legushi's house or palace and that is what many people are responding to at a time like this and I think it's all interesting for us to note that man to an extent uh, uh, Choma will be a part of Davido's uh, life and uh, people will talk about it from time to time and uh, that is what Davido needs to face in this time like this and we still got some uh, stories already trending out on social media we have something on um, you know accountant general of the federation being suspended after um you know fraud allegation of 80 billion era and i think the efcc they are doing their job right now that is what some persons are saying but still a lot of uh, people are watching because sometimes they do social media trial at the end of the day they leave those people and still live like uh, us in the society despite they've committed a whole lot of crime and another one, EFCC arrest ex NDDC's um, MD Nsima Ekere over alleged 47 billion naira fraud. NDDC is um, Niger Data Development Commission and it was established by Olusegun Obasanjo during his uh, time as president of Nigeria. And uh, people have seen this kind of um, you know, uh, organization as a way of some politicians to make the nation dry. And a lot of attention on this organization. Right now, uh, some persons in this organization are facing a lot of um, you know, kind of uh, uh, interrogation based on the recent uh, you know, reckless spending and uh, misappropriation of fund. That is what we are getting at a time like this. Guys, you know, you can still go and check me out on other social media platforms, um, TikTok, Facebook, and be a part of this uh, great discussion. I have something that is coming in also at a particular time like this, and people are responding to it. That is, uh, we need a remix. Fans gush over video of Olamide vibing to another song clear by Singapore Portable. I think uh, Olamide has actually assisted Singapore Portable and uh, he's enjoying a lot of assistance from Olamide. This time around people are saying that man Olamide still go the second time to uh, like you know jump on a track with Singapore Portable and uh, a news broke out one time that Olamide actually signed him but it was confirmed that it's never signed to Olamide's record label, but it just uh, a help that Olamide is giving to this person as a street act. Yes, according to a report, Nigerian controversial singer Portable has taken to social media to hail YBNL boss and music star Olamide. This comes as Portable shared a video of Olamide vibing to one of his new songs, which has been trending in the media. The video has stirred reactions online as many applauded the YBNL boss for always being supportive of others. I think that is one thing Olamide has done from time to time and uh, people are really appreciative of that. Let's have a glimpse of Olamide vibing to that song. <laughs> Away from that, let's talk about um, some other things that you know trended on social media or still trending on social media. Yes, you know, somehow I saw it on uh, social media, and this is particularly trending. The moment ladies were asked to pick their husbands during a church service. And then <laughs> it was a funny moment. Uh, let me uh, kind of give it to you. Hey, if anybody want to marry anyone here, come and touch them. Come and touch the person. Any person you like.
Guys, what do you think about that? Because we still have got a video that is trending where a group of ladies were singing, uh, saying, uh, carry me, they go, Jehovah, carry me, they go, my husband's house. And that song is number one right now on TikTok. A lot of people are remixing that song with a beat on it. But somehow, uh, the marriage issue in Nigeria is another thing that uh, people are paying attention to and finding a way to reconcile in themselves uh, because um, people feel that yes to an extent uh, ladies now want already made men and uh, they want money and they want a lot of good life i think everybody wants that but uh, some people are really afraid to start you know from a humble background and that has left some challenges in time and uh, we need to understand it let's have a glimpse of the video guys recently uh the video was questioned about his relationship with choma during a visit to Oba and Legushi's palace and that is quite um, you know disturbing and people are responding to that already saying that David oh, you need to take uh, Choma as a wife and why are some persons like us are responding if David oh, took Choma as a wife what of other baby mamas Amanda what of Sophia and that is what we need to understand by this whole thing according to a report during a visit to the Oba of Legushi Oba Aleya Lua Sahid Ademola Elegushi, award-winning artist Davido received questions from Yoruba moms about his music. Apart from his music, about Choma, they were asking about Choma and that arose some kind of uh, reactions and a lot of people are taking uh, that into cognizance and responding to that already. Let's have a glimpse of that uh, video so that you get to at least hear from them directly. Federal government suspends Accountant General of the Federation Ahmed Idris over alleged 80 fraud. Alleged 80 million naira fraud. According to a report, they said, yes, they are suspending this man, the Accountant General of the Federation, pending the outcome or when investigation is being concluded. And that is what is now trending on social media. And a lot of people are uh, giving some kind of commendations to EFCC while some other persons are saying this is a political gimmick to distract us because nothing is going to happen to these guys at the end of the day and they are going to be discharged and acquainted and we still have this on our hands EFCC arrests ex NDDC um, MD Nsima Ekere over alleged 47 billion naira fraud according to a report EFCC arrests SNDDC MD Nsima Ekere over alleged 47 billion naira fraud. Operatives of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission has arrested the former managing director of the Niger De Data Development Commission um, Nsima Ekere over alleged fraud. He was arrested on Wednesday, May 18th, for allegedly diverting a whooping sum of 47 billion naira through registered contractors of the agency. This is according to the commission's spokesperson, Wisin Uwajare, who confirmed it to Channels TV. Yes, I want to speak to this because uh, 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 a lot of people are now responding to it already. And saying that man yes uh, this kind of thing should be encouraged but what comes out of it that is what they are now saying because we've heard stories about this in the past ranging from the story of abakari and a lot of others after the investigation the social media humiliation yes we don't find something positive that comes out of it and that is what many people are really paying attention to right now and i think uh, it's quite um, you know disturbing and uh, we need to uh, uh, always use our 
kind of uh, actions, you know, convictions, our kind of, um, you know, um, <laughs> things we do to actually make the people trust government organizations or trust the fights by the government against corruption. And that will in turn help us to secure a great relationship with the government. Guys, what is your own take about this story? Before I jump off finally, I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platform. Being a part of it is all interesting for me. And if you are new here, take out time, click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting FreeWest TV.